We're going to prove that challenges are the easiest on the last day by picking everything on the left. Mm. It's an orange juice. Welcome back to another Code Ojo where we get a small kickback for everything that you spend in the shop. So especially this oh. limited tower skin. This is a skin that you flex on the haters with, but this is my mini account. It doesn't bring me that much joy. And it is a bit of a steep price. If you need the gold, makes sense. There's the holiday emote packs that you might have missed. Since I don't want to spend $28 Canadian on my mini account, I'm going to use the regular log one. I don't have the season pass yet, but I will unlock it if I lose. But I, <laughs> I don't lose. Because we've already won the challenge. We've already unlocked the Mother Witch. Now I can just funnel 22 Mother Witches on my main account. I guess I have 17 Legendary Tokens, so I could funnel 17 if I can farm 17. All right, we're picking everything on the left. I'm just going to spam it and spam it and spam it. The nice thing about these challenges on the last day is that everyone that's super serious about this game already finished this challenge. This is going to be pretty casual. I'm going to do a goblin hut since I have the mother witch. I don't even know if he gave me it or if I took it, but it doesn't matter. We're going to win anyways. Oh, the witch is the worst card to play when you're against the mother witch. Those infinite trickles. That is... Oh boy, them skellies don't know what's going to hit them. And she's spawning skeletons. Nope. My Spear Goblin Hut's doing too much damage. I don't like it. Oh, I shouldn't have poisoned. That would have been infinite skeletons. Oh, that would have been so money. That's okay, though. We're going to counter the Mega Knight with uh, Rascals. It's five Elixir. Oh, he zapped. That's value. All right, we're going to do the Piglets. Just the tank for the Rascal Boy. I know he doesn't have the Furnace in Rotation anymore. Oh my gosh, that wizard's going to get wrecked by the Rascal Girls and the Rascal Boy. Oh, so much damage. We're putting a Goblin Hut right down. We're low on Elixir, but the Goblin Hut is a defensive card, so they have to react to it immediately. I'll just do a Mother Witch in the back. Slowly but surely, we're going to deal a lot of damage. Maybe we'll flex our limited emote that you can only get in 2016, I think. I think it was 2016. All right, we're going to poison a Rooney that... Although, I think I could have converted a piglet from that. I'm going to do bats on the right side. Two elixir or three is actually not bad if you think about it that way. And then I'm going to have to do a Valkyrie. Just because those royal recruits are dealing damage. Oh, I misplayed that Valkyrie. That royal, royal recruit outranged my Valkyrie there. Oh boy, I'm not even going to do a, a goblin hut. On the witch, I mean. But I'll do it on the right side. That's going to be a lot of things. Nope. Nope. Bats stop everything. Piggies. Infinite. Spawn. Piggies. On. Witch. There we go. That's all we needed. Maybe I'll do two mother witches. Terrible play. Don't do two mother witches to the bridge when they have a Meg Knight. But we just have to hold off for 17 seconds, so it's whatever. And then I'm going to do a Valkyrie on top of the wizard. It's going to wreck the roll delivery and that wizard. And then she's going to counterattack. Oh, beautiful. So beautiful. Goblin hut there just to greet you on her opponents. Um. This is Juicy J from the Juicy News Network reporting in with a new The Log. That one friend who always spoils the group picture. Chance to win! This is so satisfying. We have to watch this whole thing. It's witches versus mother witch, and he's feeding them elixir golems as well on the mother witch. The piggies slow down the skeletons, and the piggies die to the skeletons, while the skeletons produce more piggies. Oh, that is so satisfying. They got cloned witch on the top. The mother witch hasn't been cloned yet. Oh my gosh, the piggies are just holding off. I think this is an infinite game. This is You're able to create a stalemate with just witches and mother witches. The way the piggies spawn, it just makes sense. Oh. There's still a minute left. There, that, it's just a cluster. This might actually be world record for most amount of witches in the map ever. I've... It just looks like a blob at this point. Look at all those numbers. That's so satisfying. And you can see that there's just purple smoke on the bottom there. From the sheer amount of piggies that are getting cursed and spawning. I can't even tell what's going on right now. And it's starting to get laggy. Or the recording is laggy. 
because this game physically can't handle it. There's <laughs> that is just the biomass of witches, mother witches, skeletons, and piggies. And the fact that the piggies that are spawned from the clone mother witches aren't cloned, it just, they just last a little bit longer. Here comes some final clone spells. Looks like they're both having trouble putting down cards and cloning their witches because their games are getting really, really, really laggy. So they're leaking elixir. Oh my, that, this, this is the world record for biomass if I ever saw one. Oh, that is so satisfying. I should have done that for my tech video. That would have been so clickbait. Oh, it's gonna all explode now. They're all just in place. Those two skeletons are dancing. Oh, that melted at the end. That brings me joy. The glitch is back. The log takes out the bomb tower and the bomb tower extends the log's damage to activate the king. Oh, and Milo posted that the barbarian barrel can deal a ton of damage. This is true. There's an ice hound in the game in Clash of Clans. When's the ice hound coming in Clash Rail though? Actually don't know if it'll ever come. This was the original Reddit post by BC Evolutions. I think the other person was just able to accumulate a little bit more witches because of the elixir collectors in the beginning. Nonetheless, both so satisfying. Oh, look at those piggies. They're, they're not getting through the sheer amount of skeletons. Boom. Look at that. Mother Witch boost. I guess I should have got that notification earlier. Level 12 boost on my mini. My mini is almost level 13. Well, I guess I have had this account since March of 2016. I just haven't played on it. This account would essentially be maxed right now as free to play if I played every single day, collected all of my chests, and played all the Clown Wars. Oh, Clown Wars 2. That sounds terrible. <laughs> all right. 7-0, there's another legendary to unlock. We're gonna pick everything on the left. Oh, it's it's the best when they have a gold pass on the last day. Means they're scared of my power. I need to get rid of that princess though. That is obnoxious. She's gonna wreck my bar. Oh, he's got an earthquake. My life was a lie. What do I do? Ignore that fire spirit on that side. All right, we'll do a knight in the back. I don't have the mother witch. He's got the mother witch. Oh, those are going to turn into piglets. Oh, two barbarian piglets. That's some big ouchies. Not really, actually. The knight's going to cover everything. The goblin giant's going to wreck that mother witch, though. <laughs> mother witch? What mother witch? Goblin giant's tanking for everything. He's panicking with the golem. I'm going to do minor on top of that princess. Oh, mother witch with mega minion. No chance at all. Miner's tanking for my Electro Giant or Electro Dragon. That's a lot of damage on their tower. We're doing it. We're going to give him Earthquake value. Why not? It's fine. I, I want to bank up Elixir anyways. And it does counter the waves. Oh, no. That's going to be a big piggy push on the right, on the left side. And by big, I mean not that big. Wow. She's, she's below average. I like it. Fire Spirits and the Princess. Easy peasy. I love how nothing connects. Uh, we're going to have to do... Barbarian Hut on top. Goblin Giant connects. Knight takes out the Mother Witch. Barbarian Hut defends against this World Giant and Earthquake. That was nine for seven. Oh, boy. Let's take it slow and steady. I'm going to save my Miner for Princess. Barbarian's just wrecking everything on that Royal Giant. There's no way he's going to get through. Actually, I'm not even going to save the Miner for the Princess. If he has anything, I can just zap it at most. But the Goblin Giant on the right side connects as well. There's no defense. Moral of the story, pick everything on the left on the left. <laughs> if you're gonna struggle and you're not a person to go full sweat in the game, just play on the last day. You'll be fine. And if it's not fine, you need the season pass. Mother witch! Everything on the left. Did we do good? I don't know. Another one with the season pass. I'm scared. Or not. So we have the mother witch. If I have rocket, that probably means that he has lightning. He already poisoned prematurely. I'm just going to do a Mother Witch in the very back then. That Hunter's probably going to die to the Spear Goblins and everything else. I want that Mother Witch to take that out. 
Oh, you know what? That's fine. I'm I'm rushing. I don't care. I'm rushing. Mini P.E.K.K.A. to tank? Heck yeah. That's how I roll. That graveyard surprisingly did way more damage than I thought it was going to. I, I think I need to rocket that though, because it's there's no way my mother witch is gonna stand a chance against Heckin. Oh, can you imagine that healer getting rocketed by the Oh my gosh. I'm doomed. I need that. I need I need fire spirits. To splash on that healer. I goofed up. Ah. Oh. So we have Graveyard, we have Golem. This is a double elixir deck. I goofed up by rushing. She'll have poison on my mother witch. And that's fine. We've come to terms with that. Oh my gosh. Mini Pekka. Do your thing. Mother witch, convert some more piggies. She only converted one piggy. Oh boy. That is not good. When you got a fire spirit. Here we go. So I was wrong about the lightning. He doesn't have lightning. He has poison. So that, I guess that's another pick. I thought it was only rocket lightning. Sometimes the draft tables are a little bit different. And that's okay. I'm just going to straight rocket that. And then. I was going to turn some. Piggies. From bats. Just take that out. You cannot stop a graveyard. There's no way you're going to be able to stop Graveyard with that golem there. I've got skeletons going on. I've got bats to take out the witch. We have another mother witch. I meant to put down uh, Graveyard, but that's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Mother witch is actually destroying everything. We're taking the tower on the right side. We're, we're going to get the king tower. Double mother witch was the play in this pocket. I'm impressed with myself. Woo! Now, if only I was 9-0, that would've, would've been clean. Can I continue? They need to fix that. That's that's just unintuitive and weird. All right, that's it for this video. It is definitely easier to play on the last day. If you're struggling on the first day, definitely play on the last day, just because the people that play this game four or five hours a day are probably gonna have more time on the first day, if that kind of makes sense. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay tuned for more quality OJ.